We are once again in the dojo. No, that, that would be... It's not the dojo because we are straight up ripping off M539. Welcome to another uh, oil change. This time... <laughs> This time, the idea of the video is not to take eight hours to change the oil. It is to do a speed run of the oil change. So, um, we're going to attempt the quickest oil change on a BMW E46 ever. <clears throat> In BMW's history. In BMW history. This is F1 spec. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just... <laughs> and, and the sound yeah. effects, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely not cringe at all. We're going to be changing my BMW's oil because it says it needs an oil change in 300 kilometers because when you reset it, it's, uh, it, the car thinks the oil must be changed in 25,000 kilometers, not 10,000. Uh, I prefer to change slightly before 10,000. So here we are, 300 kilometers before 10,000. Uh, yeah, it's been six months. Sadly, I need to change the oil again. So. Me and Georgie boy decided to go with a tried and tested Fox. As we all know, we are sponsored. Yeah, we're sponsored. We're waiting for the banners. So. Yeah, yeah, we need the banners. Just a, a few days. Just so you know, you know, we are sponsored. Here we go. Old, older bottle. And then oldest bottle. So, uh, there we go. The dog's on. If uh, anybody's Dude, missed dog's it. On, dog's like, hey, yo. Woof, woof. Right. Guess it's time to... Uh, to get uh, cranking, uh, let me just get in position, you know. <laughs> the speed run must uh, start, you know, you gotta be ready. Any percent. Any percent. No speed. diphthongs or anything, hmm. any percent. Glitch. Glitchless. <laughs> no, not glitchless. No, ma no major, glitchless. many major glitches. <laughs> let me find a nice location which does not focus on my ass. Here is the time. 551. Let's go. It's on, baby. As per usual, this is going to go on the frame rail. So I've got some cardboard to, you know, as defense. There we go. Push jack stand on. Car is very low, but we need the car to not be too high so uh, it drains properly. Wow, that was unnecessarily aggressive. This is much better, so much more space. <coughs> car has been jacked off. Up. I'm already sweating. Actually, palms are sweating. He's, the diphthong is ready. <laughs> I am uh, naked now. Oh yeah, we got Mali filters. Mali. Uh, last time we had champion filters, so this time we've decided to go with some proper quality upscale. filters, upscale, because we are now we are now a very successful shop, George. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we we are a shop. Yep. Oh my God, so dusty. Oh, I forgot about the plate. The oily mess is revealed. Yep, 17. Damn, George, what the fuck? Okay. okay. Maybe that was a bit too easy to unwind. <laughs> wow, that was way too easy, George. I'm not gonna lie, and it's extra oily here, so I might have been dripping here from not proper tightening. I guess that was no effort at all, but we did tighten it to torque. As far as I remember, yeah, me too. The car is hot, so the oil will flow. I'm burning my fingers. <laughs> Maybe too hot. This is oh, this is supposed to be a speed run. Come on, I'm returning to the tool because it actually hurts now physically. Oh no! Yeah. 
great. Oil looks fine. A bit dark, but I guess it's okay. No, nothing sparkles like in the, the, the differential. <laughs> Let me save my phone from the oil. Oh my god, yeah, I've made a mess. I've made a mock of it. Again? No, yes, a lot. <laughs> We've got the bolt here, the diftung. Is the diftung there? Let me just clean off the mess I've made. Time to unload the... Yeah, looking nice. We really need... <laughs> About to lose a thousand euros. <laughs> Here's the old champion. The champion. Is it warm? Uh, there's a bit of sludge on top of it. Oh no, that's just... Yeah, that's, that's oil, you know. Yes. Yeah. Damn, what the fuck? Unexpected plot twist. Man, I'm fucking... Yeah. How could we have known? Me and George were just uh, noting how easily everything is currently uh, yeah, yeah. running. After things, you know, when you change these things... On time. On time, there's like... It's good, it's good. Yeah, it's not a problem, you know, to get the filter off, out of the housing or the fucking bolt or whatever. So Yeah. Seems like that's the correct thing to do. Who, who would have known? The oil filter definitely looks like it's been used. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it looks much better than what we had yeah, before. Yeah, it's much better. Well, we can place the new one. Yeah, I think that's... We don't have anything else to do, I guess. I think that's the next step. It's dripped already, so... You know, when it's like 60 degrees, it flows faster <laughs> yeah unexpected again yeah when it doesn't take you five hours to uh, get the car <laughs> inside to jack up the car or something oh. Is that yeah that's the bolt then i should probably not why be kicking it, it up why would it not be on the floor why is correct. it floor? correct so we need to change the oil filter gasket thing oh, let's get this thing off there we go the old one doesn't look bad the molly Here's a new one. This needs to be coated in oil though. Let's see how this goes. Advanced you will be here. And today. <laughs> and today I'll be bringing you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so these are ambidextrous, it doesn't matter. <laughs> ambidextrous? <laughs> they have two hands? Yeah, yeah. Damn. The Molly goes in. Let me film the tutorial section. Yes, yes, professionals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then... Okay. <laughs> I was worried for a second there. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, it doesn't seem crooked, so, you know. That's the meta. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Well, let me film from uh, Far further away. back, you know, so, uh, yeah, yeah, just fuck the, the fuck the head, fuck, fuck the him. plastic head. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck it up. <laughs> it's one time use, I've heard. <laughs> okay, disassemble. Filter seems to be on. It really can't go anywhere. The filter. So I kind of fucked it up. Yeah, look how easy it goes in now. I'll be looking for a new filter head gasket housing, oh, housing because this will probably leak now. Oh, uh, well, it it won't leak probably as the O ring is. The O-ring is at the top, yes. Yeah, so... And the filter will catch the plastic. Hopefully. As... The Lego machine will the plastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we're going to remove the filter for the third time <laughs> and fix the plastic that I kind of... Uh, removed. Yeah. 
God damn, how did I fuck that up? Because it's a speed run and we were trying to... Yeah, yeah, any percent, any percent. This is a tier 2 exploit. Yeah. And you save uh, like negative 20 minutes. Yeah, it, it's a big risk. <laughs> and, uh, you know, the gain is like 2 minutes. <laughs> but the negative... So you can see like it's fucked over here. So you can see here. Yeah. It's uh, over here. You can see how the edge is not very good. Yeah, it's... But this is the, the the bad part. You can see I fucked it up over here a lot. Yeah. But hopefully because it's at the beginning of this thing, it won't Yeah, there's it. many threads, so... Yeah, yeah, hopefully. Many threads and an O-ring, so... Yeah. In my professional opinion, which is to be trusted, I almost have a degree in software engineering, so, you know... <laughs> yeah, that makes you... A... Yeah, I look a... at... I was trying to tighten it sideways before, man. Fuck. Yeah, yeah look it. It's not a good idea. Yeah, so maybe speedrunning car work is not optimal, man. <laughs> so we don't have a large enough socket here to actually Newton meter this thing down. Uh, I'm going to clean this thing up. So it's nice and yeah, shiny you and can oily. Clean that shit up. Please. Yeah, yeah. All yeah, smear with it on the plastic. Perfect. Uh, Perfect. I'm going to clean so. this thing, so I'm going to check if it loses or if it leaks. Or yeah. Anything. So I gotta go down into the into oil the infested hole. <laughs> so I'll be down here in the oily mess, time to carefully tighten the new bolt. <laughs> Stripping this is a bit more. Bad. Do you remember the door check? No. Good. Goodly. <laughs> Obviously, I got the new diff tool on. It's time to torque it again, 25 newton meters, which seems low, but hey. We'll use 28 as that's the torque range spec. So. Okay, yeah, 28 newton meters because that's what our torque can do. This plastic thing does not cover the hole completely, which is interesting. And we're done underneath the car. <laughs> Oil pouring, George. How did that go last time, Jordan? Min. I'll say min. I'm gonna put it up in the video uh, because I love showing that that beautiful first pour. Yeah, that pour is amazing. It was just it's spectacular. You know, it's our... But this time I come prepared. <gasps> so we've got Tetka, and it's time to start pouring the oil. The car is still on jack stands, but that's probably fine. We're going to check the oil. Hey, come on. Ugh. We're going to check the oil level after we're done, obviously. Because we did not do that last time. We just kind of. That's not part of the any percent speed run. <laughs> yeah. The timer stops earlier. Hopefully not. Oops. I... If you spill with a fucking. Oh, well, I just did, George. <laughs> I just did. I By think the if way. If you pour sideways now, it will be okay. No, I'm not risking it. <laughs> I'm not gonna make a mock of myself again. By the way, George, my hands are slightly burned. They genuinely hurt right now. Hands are shaking? No, they're burned, George. <laughs> shaking. These weak arms are heavy. He's already already. Most again, he's nervous. He's nervous. He looks calm no, no, and ready no. to pour oil. The MC8, sorry. What? The MC8. What the? MC8, Lee. The MC8. Oh. Mm. Oh, George. Big comedy guy, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know me? The comedian. <laughs> <laughs> brings back memories. There we go. Oh, what the fuck? Why are you... Come on, me. Okay, every drop, man, every drop counts. <laughs> so that's five liters, so we need 1.5 more liters. If we successfully drain the whole oil, which probably. Your it's gonna burn the oil, so it's whatever, man. Yeah. I know this car can burn oil, so it's okay. <laughs> Even if we overfill. So we're going to uh, pour six liters of oil in here, and we're going to check the dipstick how it, how, you know, how it is. It's gonna take a while for it to completely drain, 
but you know we're going to take check at six liters so we're not going too far because last time we did not do any kind of checking we just kind of winged it yeah. and obviously we had no issues but maybe maybe we sh should not risk it all <laughs> <laughs> we've waited a bit let's see what the dipstick says Oh wow, it's Where is it? completely full. Well, good thing we didn't have 6.5 liters. Yeah, because it's full, but it's not on the, on the... Okay, let's check again, but this seems ridiculous. How did we, you know, how half a liter for, to not drain? That seems a bit excessive. It yeah, full completely full, but like it's... But it's not on the little edge here. So uh, we're going to keep it as is for now, I guess. Yep. And I'm gonna check it later when the car is maybe in a better position because right now it's ever so slightly leaned to the rear. The car is a bit of like, oh shit, it doesn't matter, okay, it's, there is enough oil for, uh, for to start the car. But before we do that, we can uh, obviously first off we can close that. We can check if it's leaked. If if the prop car leaves. I've already leaks. already closed everything. <laughs> yeah, George. Uh is this the end of the speed run or do we need to unjack the car? Unjack the car. Fuck. Unjacking time. I gotta set the car. Okay, gentle. Gentle. Oh? You've learned? Much better this time. And time. The end. Is that not like an hour? When did we start? 5.45, I think. Yep, just an hour. There we go. In a minute, to be fair. There we go, we're done. Obviously, we need to take the car out. We need to clean Close up the, the tools. Mm -hmm. We got a few, a few things we need to do. But we're done. So uh, We're almost ready to do a walk-in oil change shop. Yeah. We're almost. <laughs> almost. So yeah, I think that's gonna do it for today. Thanks for watching and uh, me and George are gonna see you in the next one.